Boom. Hello there everyone, welcome back to World of Warcraft Elwyn Forest. Uh, yeah, last time finished up Northshire and went to Goldshire and did a lot of talking. Oh yeah, this this really needs to be updated. You see, like the texture that's supposed to be a window, it looks really low res. And why not just make it see-through? Like, like an actual see-through window to that there. That, that, that probably be such a simple, easy update to make and it would look much better. Like these windows up here as well, possibly. Yeah, still Easter. <laughs> Yeah, the, I recorded last week and it's the 18th. Yeah, tomorrow is the last day of Easter in World of Warcraft, known as Noble Garden. Uh, we've got a bunch of quests here to turn in. And since we have this 100% increased exper uh, experience buff, yeah. Gonna level quite fast. Wait, there's another quest here. Oh, yeah, 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 right. The Noble Garden stuff. Um, a fishy peril. As I spoke with Remy, I respect him as a merchant, though all reports of murlocs to the east have been sketchy at best. Your concerns are noted, but unless I receive a military report of a murloc threat, we can't afford to send more troops east. If you are concerned that the rumors of murlocs are true, then do this. Travel to the eastern Elwyn Bridge and speak with Guard Thomas. He has been stationed at the bridge for the past week, and will know the state of the area. I have here a Stormwind Charger that will take you to Guard Thomas. Let me know if you wish to make use of the horse. Marshal Duggan wants you to speak with Guard Thomas. Oh, so I... Okay. Because it is all the way over there, and I remember back in the day, as a low level, running this route all the way over there. That takes a couple of minutes, so... I get... Ooh, yeah, the mounted patrols. It's really cool how they put these in. Are they escorting the bread lady, the traveling baker? <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Stay with your guard patrol. <laughs> traveling baker. That, like, traveling bra bread salesman? That works. But a traveling baker? That's kind of weird. Don't you need, like, a bunch of ovens and stuff? Like a kitchen? <laughs> or maybe she bakes in the morning and then travels afterwards. Because bread has to be kind of fresh, too, you know? Uh, but no, I'm thinking we'll start off by going south here to Fargo Deep Mine. We'll start with that questline since we got that first. So out into the forest we go! I also, I did read uh, online somewhere that this experience buff, it's going away like the 20th. So, well maybe I'm recording tomorrow. So, we'll have it for a little while longer. <laughs> we'll be a... Well, we won't be over leveled as the level scale leveling scales, but if we go fast, then it will instead switch to a uh, reputation buff. Uh, with uh, well, I can't look on this character, but reputation with the two late this current expansion and the expansion before that, like with the factions there, you'll get extra reputation with them uh, for like yeah, a hundred percent boost there too, I think, and that's actually great because my secondary alt druidus that I did um, Warson Gulch with here on my channel. He's a little bit behind on rep, so I, I need to do that. And also the two latest from the last patch on my main, I need to rep with those two more. See a far good deep mine. Many old memories from this. So you can either enter from the top or from the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead with the top entrance this time. Oh, and kobolds. Have we fought kobolds before in my World of Warcraft Let's Play? Yes, we have, in Lokmodan. Lokmodan had kobolds. Large candle and gold dust. Thank you. Oh, hello. You no take candle! <laughs> That's their famous tagline. Uh, I'm pretty sure we fought kobolds in Lokmodan. Anyway, there are like rat... Rat-like creatures that lives usually in mines and they basically were they almost worship candles wood chopper chopper <laughs> and another one i do need to kill quite a few of them and this the fargo deep mine quest here scout through the fargo deep mine it's quite a unique quest in that the only objective is that you have to reach a certain point in this cave or mine rather and then it will just uh, be completed by itself 
I wonder how far in we need to go though. Stor Stormwind, right? We're not in Stormwind. Hmm. Oh, there is. Yeah, they have added a map, so I can go right. Uh, no, that's not no route. I mean that way. That would lead me to a dead end. Lower mines, and that's that other entrance. Let's try to go to the dead end. Maybe there's a rare there. I'm hearing some other players somewhere around here, like very vaguely. Hearing sounds of combat. Somewhere. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, that was just the, the rat that I didn't manage to kill. Oh, this is what. When was. What next spell? That was level 10 agony. Soul charge as a passive. Do I. Why, what do I even need soul, soul shards for at this level? I can't do anything that requires soul shards. Why would you get it at level 10? That's weird. Uh, you can probably tell I haven't leveled a warlock in quite a while since I main one. <laughs> so, all the changes that have been made. And we'll go this and we can do Even more kobolds in here. Yes. Also, today I'm, for the first time since I got it, I'm wearing my Game Grumps shirt. Uh, here is Video Game Boy! <laughs> yeah! And on the back side it says, The One Who Wins! The Game Grumps reference, in case you didn't know. So, okay, that's pretty much it. It was just a bunch of kobolds. Find them, we'll go to the lower mines. To the lower mines. To the lower mines. A thing about mines, when you start digging out a mine, oh come on, like how do you decide where to start making a mine? Do you just pick a random spot where it looks like, oh yeah, here could be a good spot for a mine, and then you start digging, or... Uh, and I'm not specific, I'm not talking about modern mines, I'm talking about like old timey mines. How do you choose which, do you like find something of the mineral you, you're there for mining, like iron or whatever it is, on the surface, and then like, oh, maybe there's like one of those veins here that we'll start digging here. Like how, how do you decide where to start digging? That's, or how did you decide? Because nowadays there are like technical stuff, you can probably find things like the magnetic waves and whatnot. But back in the day, you know, down here? Yeah, I think you have to reach the deepest point of the mine. And... Oh, no, we're... S no, we are... We are in the lower mines now, yeah. You probably have to, like, reach this corner. I think here, this corner... Yeah, this is the deepest part of the Fargo Deep mine. Oh, we already got it. I didn't notice when we got it. Oh, well, might as well travel all the way through then. Just for the hell of it. And... Yeah, not take that side path. I'll kill this guy, then we'll run the way, the rest of the way out. Yeah, they are level. F Why don't these scale up to me? Why aren't you scaling? Well, that one is okay. I just ran into a. So they can probably scale from like two levels below you and up. So just around the corner and then out. Yep, yeah, here we go. And oh, I can't control my imp. God damn it! I don't have control. Of him, he just attacks. Go! I can't get out of... Yeah, all stun effects. But does it remove slow? Every man for himself. I think they've... They've kind of nerfed that. Because it used to be... Like, all slowing and stun effects and everything like that. But that's what the... Like, the gnomes, their... Uh, ability. Racial ability is, like, the same, but not as powerful, because it's only like slowing and trapping effects, but not stuns. So I think they... I think, seemingly, they did uh, nerf every man for himself ability, the racial, so that... Oh, crap. Oh, crapity. Leave me alone, Cobalt Tunnela. Uh, please leave me alone. I do not wish to die. There we go. Now let me just... Oh, I'll, well, I'll eat this tough jerk here and I'll save the pumpkins. Now I got some room in my bag. 
a little bit of meat. But yeah, because now it only says removes all stun effects. But I'm not sure. You might be able to notice throughout my whole YouTube career. Or like my whole life, but... Well, you, you understand what I mean. I'm doing it right now, is that I, I overly correct myself. And whenever I'm not sure of something, I become very clear in stating like... Uh, <clears throat> But I'm not sure if that uh, I'm gonna have to look it up, blah, 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 blah. It's because I'm a bit afraid of being wrong and being called out for it. And that's something I have to work on. It's just... Yeah, that's just... I, I don't know why I'm like that. Psst. You have that to gold dust for me? For me? Thanks for the dust, Kifina. Here's your cash and... Uh, here's a token from associates of mine. She might find it useful. Useful. Oh, yeah, no, I'll just sell it. Like, it looks, yeah, it's, it's the same look, it's just a different color. So, I'll just sell it. Weird token to give me a belt randomly. And the woodchopper. Do I save the linen cloth? No. Don't care. Do not care at all. And you, I scouted the mine. This is bad news. What's next? Dragons? We'll have to increase our patrols near that mine. Thanks for your efforts, Kifina. And uh, hold a moment, I might have another task for you. Yay, another level, level 8! Thanks to you, we know the Fargo Deep mine is infested with kobolds. Now we need a scout to investigate the more distant Jasper Lode mine. Explore Jasper Lode and confirm any kobold presence. To reach the mine, travel east along the road until you reach the Tower of Azora. From the tower, head north and you'll find the mine in the foothills. Explore the Jasper Lode mine, then report back to Marshall Duggan and Goldshade. So the same with another mine, and it's here, yeah, up here. So it's basically fast, you take the horse here and then walk up like that. And yeah, the Tower of Azora, you can see the name there on the map, it says, you can see the T and the O have started appearing on the edge there. <laughs> I've never really understood the purpose of the Tower of Azora. It's like, why is it there? Why is it specifically? Yeah, I, um, we might find out when we get there. It's it's th that's the big thing. It's not a questing hub. You don't. I think there might be like one quest to turn in, or used to be in vanilla, but right now it's just a very. It's like a tower. There's the Tower of Azora, and they have like special NPCs there. But seemingly without a purpose. Did you gather those candles yet? You were busy hunting kobolds, were you? Thanks for the candles, Kifina. And here's your reward. Oh, a robe with one more armor. Oh, thank you very much. I really like the green one, though, but... You seem like a helpful type, Kifina. How about doing an old man a favor? Last time I was over at the McClure Vineyards, I overheard Mabel crying in her cottage. Would you be so kind as to go check up on her? I'm a little worried. Speak to Mabel McClure at the McClure Vineyards in Elwyn Forest. Have a good one. Sure, I can do that. Yeah, we have McClure Vineyards and the Stonefield Farm. Two different farms on different sides of the Fargo Deep Mine down here. Uh, da, da, da. But what will... Oh yeah, the new robe. We'll start with that. Uh, Candlewax street robe. Oh, well, same, but it's different color. It's worse color because it's not green. It's blue instead. I know. I I think when it comes to like favorite colors and things like that, I'm pretty sure blue is most people's favorite color. Like when you ask around universally hey in the world, most people would s at least say blue. I think. Maybe it's red or something else. For me, it's green. It's always been green. Green is the best color to me, and second place I I have black. Black is my second favorite color, as you probably can tell. I've mentioned this before, most likely, but you can probably tell it from my uh, profile picture on YouTube. It's my face and then like a background with black and green. But next up, let's go to Stormwind. We'll finish up this. Um, yeah, we can we can end the episode with that. You? you look like you're in a hurry. Well, then you came to the right place. Uh, wait, what? Did it just... Argus's note is... Really? 
His name is Argus? I didn't... The, the blacksmith? That's kind of weird. <laughs> we have to get this note to Stormwind. That's not a problem. You can take one of my... One of me griffins. Oh, he has a... For a small fee, you can take a griffin to Stormwind. So you can deliver Argus's note to Os uh, Osric. You won't get there faster any other way. If that sounds except well, if I have a friend who has a two-player flying mount with full mount speed, I'm pretty sure that's faster. <laughs> if that sounds acceptable, then you'll speak to me again when you're ready for the ride. I'll charge you a little, but trust me, it'll be worth it. But yeah, I'll also get money. Buy a griffin ride from the griffin master Bartlett the Brave, then bring Argus's note to Osric. Osric Strang in the shop limited immunity in the old town of Stormwind. Sure. See you around. Hey there. And because it's Stormwind, yeah, the capital cities, you actually don't charge me. So hey maybe they did when they introduced because they they used they didn't like Goldshire if you remember uh, Dunmoreau here, Karanos, uh, same over when we did Kalimdor with. Uh, uh, Bloodhoof Village here, you can see it because it's a horde place, and Durotar with Razor Hill. They didn't used to have flight paths. Uh, that's something they added in, I think, Cataclysm? Uh, might have been Pandaria, but I think it was Cataclysm. And so this quest maybe reflects that. Oh yeah, Stormwind, we haven't been to Stormwind, I'm not really showing it to you. So yeah, this is the... Yeah, the Griffin Roost here, where you do your flying. So Stormwind City, quite a large city, and it has changed like three times over the years from the first one. There used to be an area here called the Park, uh, and then and the the harbor didn't exist at all, or these like back places here with the lakes. Uh, and then in Wrath of the Lich King, they added the harbor. Then with Cataclysm, the next expansion, the park was destroyed, and it was basically just ruins here because Deathwing presumably destroyed it. And then this last expansion now with uh, Battle for Azeroth, they built a new little park area here called Lion's Rest. It's a bit smaller because, well, most of it fell into the sea, as you can see. <laughs> also, Cataclysm, they added all the back areas. Yeah, whatever. So yeah, Stormwind City. I do have to end this episode here, though. But next time, we'll explore a bit more here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you then. Uh, bye, 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 bye. Boom, yeah, everything. Boom, boom, yeah, watch a video. Boom.